Sunday will mark 15 years since that horrible day, September 11th, 2001. And today, the families of the almost 3,000 victims may be one step closer to achieving at least some measure of accountability for that mass tragedy. Tomorrow, the House of Representatives is expected to vote on a bill that would allow the 9-11 victims' families to sue Saudi Arabia over its possible ties to the 19 terrorists who committed the mass murder that day. The Senate has already passed the bill. Perhaps you remember it was in May. Even if the legislation passes the House tomorrow, President Obama has pledged to veto the bill over concerns, he says, that it would set a precedent that would put the U.S. government, military, and taxpayers at risk for future lawsuits. The House is expected to pass the bill tomorrow, but the supporters of the legislation are trying to get enough support to override the president's anticipated veto. Let's hit, bring in uh, Terry Strada now. She's the national chair for 9-11 Families and Survivors United for Justice Against Terrorism. Her husband, Tom Strata, was a senior vice president to Cantor Fitzgerald and the father of three, including a newborn baby that day. He was on the 104th floor of the North Tower that horrible, horrible morning. Uh, first of all, Terry, thanks for being here. I want to get to the legislation in a second, okay. but most importantly, how are you doing? How are the three kids? I'm doing okay, Jake. Thank you for asking. And the kids are doing well. My oldest is a senior at college. My daughter just started her freshman year. And my son, my youngest, just started high school. They're doing that would be okay. the one that was a newborn baby that day. Yes, yes. Just turned 15 yesterday. Okay. Well, we're glad you're doing, you're doing well. Uh, you and the other victims have been pushing for the Justice Against Sponsors of Terrorism Act for four years. Uh, what was your reaction when you saw that the bill is actually finally moving forward in the House? And do you think you're going to be able to get the two-thirds majority to override the president's veto? I was very excited when I heard the news yesterday. I actually got a phone call from Kevin McCarthy's office telling me the news. And the it House was, Majority Leader. Yes, yeah. the House Majority Leader. And it was exciting and thrilling. Do I think we're going to get it? I absolutely do. I'm very optimistic. We have very strong support in the House right now for the bill. And what is your response to the president's objections that, not that he opposes justice for, for you, but that he worries about the precedent this might set and other countries being able to sue the United States? There's really no reality to that. I mean, we're just going to hold people accountable for terrorism acts, for funding and financing terrorist acts on United States soil that kills American citizens. So as long as we're not funding terrorist groups and we're out, you know, causing terrorist attacks in other countries, we don't have anything to worry about. It's a really very narrowly crafted piece of legislation that only deals with that directly. There's not going to be lawsuits rampant from that. Have you heard from the White House at all? No, they are pretty silent with us. We don't hear from them. Hmm. The Saudi government, of course, warned that if the bill were to become law, uh, they would resort to some retaliatory economic measures, possibly selling $750 billion in U.S assets. What do you make of that threat? I think it's an empty threat and I think even the White House agreed with that shortly after they have said it was a threat and then they came back and they said no the Saudis would never do that. It would hurt their economy way more than it would hurt ours and they wouldn't take the risk of any world economy you know downfall. The, the Saudis aren't going to do that. And what do you think when you hear the Saudis say there is no evidence that the Saudi government had anything to do with the 9-11 attacks? I say why are you fighting justice so hard then if there's no evidence? If you're not afraid if you have nothing to hide, then you should not be up there lobbying on the Hill as strongly as you are spending millions of dollars against this bill. What are you so afraid of? There is evidence, and I know that's why they're fighting the bill. For the last 15 years since that horrible day, a lot of people say, never forget, never forget. Do you think the American people are, are honoring that, never forget? Do you think that we as a nation are, are putting the, pri the, the right reverence uh, on what happened that day? I think I see it a lot of time. Yes, I do. I think that the American people are, are much more t uh, together, united as a group since 9-11, you know, and that we're definitely, you know, concerned about our national security. Um, so I do believe that there's been a lot of unity since 9-11. All right. Well, good luck with your legislation. We'll be thinking about you on okay. Sunday. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.